Hey okay guys, Alex Train Spotter HD and welcome back to another new video. I'm at Exo St. David's for another train session on this Thursday afternoon. So as you can see in front of me, we got a Great Western Railway service to Exmouth. This is the train I got off to get to St. David's, the 216. Uh, I can't remember the number at the back now, I think it was 248, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, so in this video you will see services from Great Western Railway, Cost Country, South Western Railway and you will see some freight as well. We should see two freights. One um, freight is coming from St. Basie to the Exo Riverside, that usual, that usual freight that runs on a Thursday afternoon. And there's going to be another freight uh, coming from Fairwater Yard uh, going to the uh, emergency crossover which is just past Top Ness I believe, that's where it is. And that freight should be a top and tail freight liner, so that'd be good to get on camera as well. So, uh, this should be made for a good session, to say the least. Print the length for this video, get it in from my usual time of in between 20 to 30 minutes long, maybe a bit longer, see how we go. So, uh, yeah. I don't know see weather wise today, it's a nice, sunny, clear day for once, albeit rather on the cold side, of course, but uh, at least it's main, mainly dry and sunny, so that does make a change. So, we will come back in a few seconds with the very first trains of the video. Okay, the best guy now will be a cross country service to Plymouth. Uh, I think this one's from Edinburgh, if, um, I think it's from Edinburgh anyway. And this one is on time. That's a race to Exmouth over there, Greatest from Railway, that should be going out very shortly as well. Twenty zero three one. Oh, keep the camera rolling for the uh, Great Western Railway Service to Exmouth. Two one six leading the way. We got a terminating South Western Railway service from Bays and Stoke, I believe. If one five nine zero zero seven, and we got a Great Western Railway service to Cardiff Central coming in as well. One five nine zero one three at the back of the South Western Railway. Forty three zero two nine at the front of the castle set. Coldicott Castle. And there we go, Newport Castle at the back, the 43188. Now I did see the, the uh, Cardiff Castle go past while I was waiting for my train at St. Thomas, so the 43187 and 188 are both down here today then, which uh, makes a uh, nice pleasant change. So there we go, that's on time. Uh, and the terminating South Western Railway service from Bates and Stoke is oh, about seven minutes late terminating in. So there we go. Okay, going out now is a Grass Railway service to Cardiff Central. Okay, back in the video guys, and uh, coming in now is a Great Western Railway Service 2 painting. No double 150 on this one. It 
two three two well would not be at the back Four fifty two four seven at the back, looking uh, yeah two four seven looking rather filthy. Uh, definitely do have a wash to say the least. <laughs> okay, going going out now is the late uh, Gretchen Rally Series two painting. running a little bit late and as you can see there's a two car 158 on platform one uh, from Oakhampton going to Extra Central yeah you hear me right there Oakhampton to Extra Central so that's a bit different a two car 158 on the Oakhampton line today uh, it's the 158769 as well um, I haven't seen the uh, 769 down here for a while so uh, good to see her down here she's looking uh, rather clean as well so uh, yeah, she's running slightly late herself, I think. Oh, is she just about on time? Actually, no, I tell a lie. I think she's just about on time, actually. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, gonna, uh, keep the camera on this because it should leave in the next few seconds. So, after uh, today's video, uh, I'm not sure where my next video will be. Um, should do one on the weekend again at some point hopefully somewhere different hopefully not here but uh, just have to see how it plans out depends on the weather situation as well really so uh, yeah okay so the series to uh exit central is uh like to go out Another train waiting to come in, that should be a service to Expo. Okay. Okay, I got a Gretchen Railway service to Expo coming in. This one is rather early as well coming in. And this one uh, went from, uh, I think from straight from Dawlish straight to here. Uh, I don't think it stopped at Doors for Star Cross or St Thomas. That's why it's uh, so that's why it's here early. Okay, this is also a double one fifty. This should be two three nine and I think two four six. Don't see any turbos around today. In fact, obviously I haven't seen my turbo yet. But yeah, a lot of double one fifties around today. Anyway, that's a lot of four car trains, which is, which is better really, obviously. 246 is leading the way. It won't be leading the way once it goes out in a few minutes' time. And 239 at the back. How's the 239 looking? Is it looking filthy? Not too bad, but not very clean at the same time. So, uh, yeah. Okay, 
Okay, well, we're back in the video, and uh, as you can see in front of me, we got a Gratis Railway service from Cardiff Central going to Benzant. This one's got a bit of a scheduled wait before it's going to leave. Um, got a scheduled six to six to seven minute wait. And this one is on time. Actually, came in a minute early as well. This uh, car set, so uh, <laughs> makes a nice, pleasant change. So 43192 at the front. We'll catch the number at the back shortly. Uh, we got the Southwestern Railway service to Basingstoke now going out. That'd be the double Southwestern Railway train we saw earlier on in the video. We should have a cross country service from Plymouth going to Leeds coming in shortly as well. That'll be a cross country HST. And in fact, it's actually uh, coming in now. This should be 43 378 and 43 321. 321 leading the way of the 378 at the back. Okay, looking uh, rather clean. Well, oh, that coach is not though, that's filthy. That's kind of clean. That's all right. That's kind of, kind of clean. What about the back? Yeah, looking rather clean. There was one coach that was uh, there was one coach that was rather dirty, but the rest of the train is uh, rather clean. Oh, right. Uh, having said that, at the uh, back of the uh, train of the cross country, as you can see, it's uh, I think a bird hit a uh, hit the train there. It's a, a real big blood stain spatter there. Not very nice. I think I will uh, make this my uh, thumbnail. Okay, so as I turn the camera off, we have a turbo coming in, the 166218, working a Radisson Railway Cirrus from Exworth to Paynton. And that one's on time as well. I think there's one more turbo on the Exworth to Paynton line as well. Um, which we should see in a couple of minutes time. I believe that this castle set should be going out any time now. So I'm going to uh, keep the camera rolling. So it was nice to see two HSTs side by side. You don't often see it and you're not going to see it at all by the end of this year. The only HSTs that you will see would be the cross country ones still. Unfortunately, as you know, these uh, castle sets will be leaving, which is a big shame. But the reason why they're leaving, it's just hard to maintain the cost of it really, that apparently, so that's the reason why they're uh, leaving. Forty-three, one, two, two at the back. Back, Dunster Castle. Considering how how old the uh, castle sets are, um, they still run really good, in my view. Okay, are well, they going then, guys? So we'll, uh, we'll uh, come back in a few minutes uh, with uh, some more trains. Okay, guys, we're back in the video. Uh, we got the two four nine now going into the depot for the day on its own. Looks like it's having a wash as well. It's going for the washer. Gone good, they uh, washed the side of the train. Why didn't they wash the front and back? Okay, as you can see, we're on platform one. We got a great Eastern railway service from Barnstable going to Exeter Central. This is 
158 958. he goes turn your attention this way as we have a cross country service from Glasgow Central to Plymouth now coming in Good to see this one's actually on time as well. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we will see her go out uh, very shortly. I noticed we haven't seen any IETs in this video. Yeah, I did miss two IETs earlier on because I had to uh, charge the phone up. But we will see one or two IET towards the end of the video. And obviously the two, the two freights as well. So uh, yeah, still quite a few, quite plenty of trains to get on camera still. Okay guys, we're back in the video and about to go out now. Oh, any time now should be the cross country service to Plymouth. This is from Glasgow Central. It's a five car forger. We got a Gretson Rally service from Exmouth waiting to come in. I think it could have came in because okay, there's no train on platform one, but it's still waiting up there for some reason. And that's probably the reason why, because we got a terminating Southwestern Railway service from Basingstoke coming in. I'm going to point the camera this way, try and get this on camera. We also got the cost country service going out now. This looks to be a six car uh, Southwestern Railway train. Didn't show the numbers on the uh, real tired trains app. It's 159016 at the front. That's 221133 on the Vorger there, and at the back of the Southwestern Railway will be, will be, will be 159011. That's 7 a.m. from Bainstone, around about seven minutes late, that one is as well. Well, look who decided to uh, make an appearance out of the depot. It would have to be the 158959 and as you know that is my follower so she's been uh, resting today actually um she, typically she would come out now when i'm here but there we go it was inevitable that was going to happen uh she's looking um <clears throat> she's not looking too bad she's looking uh, rather clean and she's going back into the depot now thank god so hopefully i won't see her again <laughs> I had to get that on camera, guys. Even if it's not in service, I had to get that on camera. It's only fair. I can't hide from my follower, can I? Let's be honest. And there she is. Okay, so we do have that service from Painting to XF now coming in. It's the 166 201. Now that should be my uh, train back to St. Thomas later on. Not many people on the train. Okay, I'm going to be a bit selective on what I record now. I want to get one or two IETs on camera. I haven't got any, any IETs on camera yet. And also, I will record the uh, two freights as well. But I want to get one or two more trains in between that as well. So, uh, we'll come back soon. 
Okay then guys, we are back in the video and as you can see in front of me, we got the first IET at the video, I can't believe I'm saying that. Uh, and this is a uh, IET from London Panting going to Paynton. It's 800 317. Um, we got that double IET, uh, double, if I say double IET, that'd be something, wouldn't it? Uh, that double uh, 150 over on platform three is that yet yeah, platform three she'll be going to Painton herself uh very shortly <clears throat> that'll be a double 150 be seen already so i won't be too bored about recording that again um so yeah uh state of play for the freights they're both running and they're more or less both running on time the freight from Ferrow Wall to yours is actually running quite early at the moment. Whether it will come through here early is another matter. It will probably wait at the loop and let uh, passenger trains go before it comes through. So, uh, yeah. The Suez to Paynton is now going out from London Paynton. And I just realised that as each day goes by now, daylight hours are getting lighter every two minutes so uh, obviously that is something we can all look forward to it's about five o'clock now and uh, it's nearly dark it is around about five o'clock Back of that uh, train, its nose is slightly open there, as you can see. <laughs> it looks a bit weird, doesn't it? <laughs> there we go. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay then, guys, we are back in the video and about to come in now is a cross country service to Leeds. For the 1727 cross country service to Leeds. Uh, Got that South Western Railway uh, train over there Bridge. going back out to Bays and Stoke. Two two one at one three six at the back. So this two two one is actually a four coach, not a five coach. The news on the freight situation, guys. Of that uh, freight from uh, Fairwell to Yarn is actually coming through early, which is ideal for me, so I can record that and get that out of the way. And obviously, I will record the other freight from uh, from St. Basie going to the Etta River side. That will be running early as well. So, uh, yeah, ideal indeed. Um, I think I want to get one or two more passenger trains uh, on camera as well before I end in the video. So, uh, yeah. Okay guys, we're back in the video and about to come through now will be the first of the two freight trains we'll see in this video. This will be the freight train from Fairwater Yard going to the Ashburgency crossover. If you want to know where that uh, Ashburgency crossover is, and that is just before Ivy Bridge. This should be a top and tail, uh, top and tail freight line, this should be. Carrying a load of, or train a load I should say, of 1,400 tonnes. So this could be quite a lengthy uh, freight, this one. And the other freight to the rear side is not too far away either. Okay, there we go. She's coming up now. Coming through early today, which is ideal. I think this freight train is for like uh, engineering work, so I would have thought.
66 515 at the front of this 66 416 at the back. May I have your attention, please? Carrying some, uh, carrying some ballast, I think it was. And I think it was carrying some uh, new rail uh, heads there as well. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, well, we're back in a video. I thought I was going to end the uh, video with the other freight, but I might as well get this uh, train on camera. This should be another double 150. And I think it's a double 150 we haven't seen. So I might as well uh, cheekily get this one on camera as well. This should be the 266, I believe, and 238, I believe. No, it's not. I got it wrong. It's 207 and 248. I don't know if I got that train on camera yet. I don't know. I think I might have got it from the start of it. I'm not entirely sure, actually. No, actually. <laughs> I thought that was meant to be the 266 and 233. Uh, 266 and 238, I should say. But, uh, no. Got that wrong, as always. <laughs> okay. And you got the other freight Stand coming in now. The and hold on to push chairs and wheelchairs. This one's the usual freight that Luigi runs on a Thursday uh, afternoon or Thursday evening. It's from uh, St. Daisy gone to the extra riverside. And I've got to end the video with this freight. And that was 66070. I think that's a locomotive I haven't seen yet. Red DB. Okay, so as that freight train comes in, I am going to leave it here at Exeter St. David's on this. I started on Tuesday afternoon, come evening. Hope you enjoyed all the selection of trains you've seen in this video from the two freight trains uh, to the cross country trains as well from Vorges. Uh, the cross country HST just got quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> That's weird. Um, to the 150s, the 158s, uh, the Southwestern 159s. Uh, what else did we see? We saw some turbos as well. Uh, and, and a castle set. We saw a castle set. And an IET as well. The train on platform number five is not the power of keys. Please do not attempt to board this train. That's the train now on platform number five. It's not the power of keys. I don't think people will board that train. <laughs> God, I love it, ain't you? So yeah, hope you enjoy this lecture of trades, guys. Um, so my next video uh, will be at the weekend at some point. Um, not sure where. It will be local. Hopefully somewhere different. So uh, yeah. So until next time, from uh, me here at a quite a cold Exeter St. David's. I shall see you all soon, guys. There you go. Actually, I'll just record this one, 234. I haven't recorded that yet. That one's going back to Oakhampton. So yeah, like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a big fat like. Any feedback would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you again with another video.